These are the facts that we learned from our research and our talk with NASA experts. One, as drag increases, an object will fall slower. Two, to land safely, a shock absorbing system is needed so the object lands safely. The three, the EVP process is very important to engineers as they work on creating and improving their design. Four, sketching and creating a prototype. Five, a good engineer tests their design several times. Six, the teamwork makes the dream work. NASA asked a question, are you up for the test? Can your team compete? Are you the best? So we got together and we formed our team. We wanted to win to fulfill the dream. Perseverance took fight, Mars was in sight. Seven minutes of terror, but everything was right. We landed on that old red planet record set. A moment in history, our team I never forget. So remember our name, remember this challenge, please. NASA asked the question, futuristics took the lead. Parachute went on the Mars, team futuristics. We did it, our design was researched, built, tested, and submitted. Team futuristics, to NASA we say stay safe. Futuristics, we out. We did it. Let's go. 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 Hello, everyone. We are Team Futuristic, and we have accepted the NASA challenge out to Mars. The criteria and constraints were drag device must connect to a team built cargo bay using the template given. Cargo bay must hold 10 grams. The device must be deployed from 2 meters and remain intact throughout the drop. Based on the data collected during our testing and evaluating process, we realized that our first design did not work because it was too heavy. Mass 59.6. It fell quickly. After we redesigned, our prototype met all criteria. Total weight equals 42 grams. Our cargo bay was 10 grams. We used the template provided. We secured the mass within the cargo bay. Added two additional paper plates to support landing, creating our parachute from an octagon instead of circle and cruise landing. Can you tell me what's it like living on Mars time? It's a, it's a little bit like constantly, uh, you know, flying and changing your time zone. Uh, My question is, what is the most challenging thing about space? Oh gosh, um, I'd say the most challenging thing about space is that, um, so whenever you send something into space, right, you can't get it back. And so you have one chance, so if something breaks, especially like different parts, the only way to fix it is if somehow someone like physically goes there. My question is, have you ever been to the International Space Center or your experience there? Ah, so I, okay, so um, if you're on the space station, you know, no, I, I guess that's, that's what astronauts, right? Um, what we do is we have a uh, different, I, I think most NASA stations, well, pretty much have it, but, but basically there will be people whose job it is who talk to the astronauts and monitor things that go on and work with them for different projects that we have, right? And so, uh, one of our projects ready to test on the space station, uh, basically we're going to um, uh, give, give uh, the, the people in mission control almost like a USB of all the software, all the programs that we wrote, and then they're going to send it through the satellites to the space station for the astronauts to test for us uh, to make sure it works. Inside. Seven minutes of terror, but everything was right. We landed on that old red planet record set. A moment in history, our team will never forget. So remember our name, remember this challenge, please. NASA asked the question, futuristics took the lead. Parachute went on the Mars, team futuristics. We did it, our design was research, built, tested, and submitted. Team futuristics, to NASA we say, stay safe, think goodbye. If you need our help again, dial team futuristics. Futuristics, we out. We did it. Let's go. go, go.